Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Solanki and today we'll be talking about your first year in college and how to make that amazing first impression. I will be covering almost everything and will give you my personal experience with them. So watch this video till the end, especially if you're getting into a college. College life is very different from your school life. In the sense of you get a lot of exposure, you get a lot of opportunities and the most important thing, you make all of your important decisions. Many people think that the first day of their college would be something magical and everyone would be giving attention to them, but it's not so. Just so you know, I tell you my experience. My whole first day of college went in searching for the right classrooms and I'm not even kidding. Now let's get back into the tips which you cannot miss, especially if you're getting into a college. The first tip is do not keep running behind girls. Now I'm not telling you to not hang around with the opposite gender or not talk to them. What I'm speaking about is don't be a jerk. You already know what I'm talking about. When you start talking to such kind of people, they have nothing else to talk about other than girls and gossip. And this is all fueled when you have such a low girls to boys ratio, especially in the engineering colleges. But please calm yourselves down a bit. First off, this is the most unattractive thing in a person. And trust me on this, if you really want to be a charm among the girls, then this probably is not the correct way to go about it. The next tip I have for y'all is participate in almost everything. Take part in everything that you can get your hands on. I cannot stress this more. It really doesn't matter if you're good at it or not. I understand that you have a constant fear of what if things go wrong and you mess up in your performance or your act. But trust me, the only regret that you will have in your college life wouldn't be of how bad your performance was, but of you not taking part in it in the first place. The experience that comes along with it will take you a long way ahead of all others. Plus, all of these things can be put on your CV and will also help you in securing admission for your further studies. In my first year, I took part in almost everything. In fact, I was so jam-packed with all of these things that I had to cancel some of it because I couldn't attend it. I was there dancing, singing, debating, playing my favorite sports, football, was in street plays and all the things that you can't even imagine. If I start to list down all of the things that I participated in in my first year, then it would require a new video in itself. And I'm saying all of these things just to make you realize the importance of participating in different fields and coming out of your comfort zone. The next important tip that I have for y'all is don't be a spoil sport. During my time here, if I've learned something, then it would be that you need to have a very good repo with your teachers as well as with your classmates. Having a good connection with your classmates will really help you in submitting all of your assignments and giving all of those presentations. If you spoil this in any way, then it really becomes difficult to bring that friendship back. And you'll be seen as a person whom, unfortunately, the whole class will target. How to avoid this? Well, the first thing is don't sit in the lectures even if there's a mass bunk. Now, this might come off as something that's not usually the correct thing to do, but hear me out first. Many of the people would be thinking, what if we want to study and there's still a mass bunk? In that case, talk to your classmates, explain your situation to them, and I'm pretty sure they'll excuse you. Every class has at least one person like this and he's usually the one that's targeted the most. And I'm saying this just because I don't want you to be that person. The next tip is make a good impression on your teachers. Once you're in the college, you will have at max 60% of your marks in your hands, whereas the rest 40% would be in your teacher's hands directly or indirectly. Making a good first impression on your teachers is extremely important when it comes to maintaining a good CGPA. They will have full control especially when it comes to how much marks you'd be getting for your presentations, submissions, assignments and whatnot. Now I'm not saying that all the teachers are partial and just by maintaining a good repo with them will help you gain more marks but it will surely help you a lot. The next tip is don't worry about making new friends. Why am I including this here? Well, because many of the students have this constant fear of how would the local students treat the non-locals? Will they be as friendly to us as to the other students? Now, I'm not talking about some specific college over here. But as far as I know, you don't need to worry about any of this in your college. No matter which college you're talking about, everyone after their first week, 
exist together and makes new friends. This is because all the students would be looking forward to making friends just like you. You will find students from different backgrounds and cultures and you will get a lot of exposure in your college. I know that we all have some preferences when it comes to making new friends. Be it having the same mother tongue or culture or anything else. But you need to remember that you won't find such kind of exposure again in your life so make full use of it and interact with people with different backgrounds. You never know, you might learn a thing or two from them as well. The next important tip is don't be a part of one specific group. Once you're in the college, you will find a particular group of friends that you most likely hang around with. Some people have three to four friends and they stick around throughout those four years. There's no problem in that and it's perfectly all right. The problem arises when you have only one group of friends and don't talk to anyone else. College is a place where you can explore new things, newer perspectives. You'll be missing out on a lot of things if you don't utilize these opportunities and come out of your comfort zone. The next tip is befriend the Xerox guy. The one person that has all the notes before anyone else does is the Xerox guy. And every college has this particular Xerox center. The teachers usually send their notes directly to them and they give out printouts accordingly. The reason why I'm stressing so much on this is is because once we had to take some notes for a particular subject and I totally forgot about it. And only thanks to having a good repo with the Xerox guy, he gave me all the notes and important questions right before the exam. The next tip is do regular workouts. Now, I officially had gone to the gym only for one year in my 11th standard and since then, I'm an enthusiast about physical as well as mental fitness. Working out nowadays is not only for making those huge muscles and looking great, but also for staying healthy. And this is true especially for us students who are continuously sitting at one place working on their laptops. And this goes well both for guys as well as girls. I've heard some major misconceptions whenever it comes to girls working out or lifting weights. One of it being that they will grow these huge muscles once they start lifting weights. First off, even if you wanted to, women cannot grow enormous muscles just because they have lower testosterone levels. So if anyone tells you otherwise, just show him or her this video. Once you're in the college, you will have a lot of things to do as well. The main reason behind people not going to the gyms is because they don't have the time for it. To be honest, even I don't. So don't worry guys, I have a solution for it as well. Perform home workouts just like me. I've been performing home workouts for a long time now and it has helped me a lot in staying physically fit. You can even buy some equipments to increase the level of your workouts. One of it being dumbbells. So... You can get these dumbbells uh, from your local shops and these are pretty cheap. These costed me around 100 rupees per kg and I'm pretty sure you will find it at your local shops. Now stop using all of the excuses for not working out and start your workouts right away. In the end, just go ahead, enjoy your life and make your own decisions now. The first year would be the easiest of them all so make sure that you focus on your overall development right from the start. College is a place where you can explore new things and find what you're good at and learn from the people who are already experts in those fields. Don't hesitate thinking your grades will drop down. I can safely say on behalf of all the engineering students that we study at the last moment and still manage to get a decent score. So have fun, enjoy and subscribe to my channel for more such amazing content. As for the next video, the roadmap for coding is almost over and I'll be uploading it soon. So stay tuned, press the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates.